Hello and welcome to another edition of the I Wake Podcast. This is Tim here. Today is the In Theaters edition of the show, which means I'm going to dive into some of the movies I saw over the weekend that are in theaters now. So uh, that's what today's show is going to be all about. Uh, later on today, later on Monday, Apple's going to be giving their big keynote address. And that means tomorrow, as it is every week, will be Apple Week. And there's going to be a lot of stuff to dig into for that show. And then uh, Nintendo on Tuesday is giving their big uh, Nintendo Direct. Lots of announcements there, which we covered on the Thursday edition of the show. So lots of cool stuff coming up um, on iWake. But let's get to today's show in theaters. So first off, I saw on Friday The Internship. This is a movie starring... Uh, a couple of notable people that um, you might be familiar with. The blonde guy from Meet the Parents, um, whose name escapes me right now, sadly. Um, but um, had a really good cast to it. Basically, the premise is these two guys um, lose their jobs in the watch industry. Because watches are dying because cell phones and things are killing it, right? So um, they decide to try to be an intern and thus a job later on at Google. And it was a, it was really well done. You can see my full movie review for more information about this. But this was a movie that um, hit a lot of homage to different Google products that are out there, like um, solving math problems before sending a drunken email, uh, things like that. It um, was on the Google campus or a very good reconstruction of it. And I think it really did capture the essence of Google in many ways as far as what it's like to work there, things like that. Um, the actors did a good job resembling well-known Google employees. And I even think uh, very, one very famous Google employee was in this movie. I just didn't recognize who it was, but it, he looked like that was a cameo of some sort. So the internship, really well done and... Um, I would really recommend you see this in theaters or when you get it on iTunes or home video. Um, it's something that I'll probably be buying. I'm not a huge Google person, but uh, there were a lot of things in it that uh, that, that made it uh, work for me. It, it really um, executed well and on, on many, many levels. So this is a, a very cool movie. Um, and, uh, yeah, go see it. Um, the next one, Mud. Very, very... Um, well-reviewed movie by the critics, um, 99 or something around Tomato. Matthew McConaughey is the star of this film. What I like in this movie, as you can hear my full movie review, um, is that it's basically a coming-of-age story mixed with some interesting uh, character characters in here with Mud being this convict hiding from the law and not being a, a bad person, you know, and... Really well executed. Uh, coming of age movies are perhaps my favorite genre of film that you get to see these kids age 14 uh, handle something that most 14 year old kids don't get to deal with. And it's cool to see how that is executed and how they deal with those situations. A um, lot of interesting themes in here regarding love and trusting people. And uh, it really is a, a powerful film. Um, not super powerful where you're going to cry or anything, but powerful as far as just food food for thought type stuff. And uh, just a really well-executed film that I really think deserves being seen at least once. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll end up buying this when it comes out on the iTunes or home video, but I'm glad I, I saw this for sure. The last movie I saw is Now You See Me, which is a magician show, a magic movie show where you follow around these four magicians, the four horsemen, uh, doing these three big magic tricks where they're giving money back to the people. Uh, they go to, you know, they they basically Robin Hood in magic. They steal banks. They steal from people that don't deserve the money and give it back to those that need it. And it's, it's very much a magician show, um, a magic show throughout. And uh, everything builds from that. So you have all these twists and turns. You have all these um, deceptions and cool things things going on plot wise very well done film i really enjoyed it really did um it was good to see jesse eisenberg back as kind of the mark zuckerberg type character where he's fast talking and stuff really well done with him acting and uh overall very good and um the only comment with that one is it does feel a bit long at times but i never checked my watch so it was 
uh, could have been tighter, but overall very good, even with that said. So those are the three movies I saw in theaters this week. Next week is going to be the very exciting um, Man of Steel comes out. So that's going to be the big one for next week that I'm looking forward to seeing. And with that, I will talk to everyone again tomorrow for the Apple edition where we go over all this wonderful Apple news that is coming out uh, today. Thanks for watching. Check out iPodEvolution.net for information about my book and the Nintendo Club Podcast.com. That's the Nintendo Club Podcast.com for one of my new podcasts that's just now out. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.